Hello class, today we'll be discussing the hierarchy of higher education. You may be wondering why are we looking at higher education? The reason for that is that in the last two weeks you have been exploring careers through career assessment. You have been learning about what careers are a good fit for you in terms of your personality, your likes and dislikes, and your interests. And you have been able to identify several careers that are, that are a good fit. Now we will take that and look at what do you need in terms of minimum qualification, specifically education in this section, to be able to attain that specific career. In order to learn that, we need to find out what are the different degrees, what do they mean, where do we get them from, and how do they apply to the specific career you're looking for. Let's get started. In the first, uh, in this picture, you will notice a hierarchy of different degrees. We'll get started from the bottom up. First off, you have your high school diploma or GED. High school diploma or GED is a four-year degree that most of you, if not all of you, should already have um, attained. The next step is career and technical education certificates. Certificates are attained from California community colleges or sometimes private institutions. They typically take about two years. Not all of you will need a career and technical education certificate. These are specific for students who would like to uh, go into fields such as auto technology to become a mechanic, uh, to become a cook to do culinary arts that could be included here, radio technologists, nurses. These are some examples of students who would need to take career technical education certificates. Again, they're attained from the community college level. Next, we'll move to the associate's degree. Associate degrees are offered at the community college, including California community colleges like Long Beach City College. They take typically about two years. You'll notice that the associate's degrees are divided in AAs and ASs. AAs are typically degrees that are associates in arts that incorporate things like social sciences, the humanities, and the arts. ASs are a little more technical in nature and have science built into the degrees. So they're a little more science heavy or, and or have a little bit more math in them. Again, associate degrees are attained at California Community Colleges. They take about two years. Most of you will earn an associate's degree on your way to a bachelor's degree. Uh, the, difference, the main difference between an associate's degree and a career and technical education certificate is that they incorporate a little bit more of G general education or GE and then a little bit of your major, okay? Whereas career technical education certificates only have courses within your career or technical skill. Now we're going to move to the bachelor's degree. Bachelor's degrees typically take about four years and you're able to receive bachelor's degrees from Cal States or California State Universities, UCs, University of California, and private schools, both in and out of state. Bachelor's degrees, as I mentioned, take about four years. Similar to associate's degrees, they are divided into BAs, Bachelor's in Arts, and Bachelor's in Science. Again, similarly, the BAs have to do with majors that are in the Arts, Social Sciences, and Humanities, whereas the BSs are more STEM heavy. So you're looking at your math, your biology, chemistry, engineering, technology, such as computer science, so that is the difference between the BA and the BS. Then but right before the master's degree, we have one more column that is not apparent in the picture, and that is credentialing. A lot of you have shared interest in regards to becoming teachers. So for those of you who are interested in becoming either K through six teachers or seven through 12th grade teachers, uh, you will need to attain a teacher's credential. So again, that's past the bachelor's level, but right below the master's. There are credential programs available at Cal States and UC levels and also private schools. Credential programs take about one to two years depending on the program. 
Teacher credentials are divided into two. Uh, one is called multiple subject credential. This is for students who want to go into K through six teaching. And then there are uh, other ones that are called single subject credentials. Single subject credentials are for students who are interested in teaching in middle and high school. Then we're gonna move along right to the master's degree. Master's degrees typically take one to three years depending one to two or three years depending on the program. Master's degrees similar to uh, bachelor's and associates are divided into MAs and MSs. Similar patterns exist, right? Master's degrees that have to do with the arts, humanities, and social sciences tend to, tend to be MAs. Master's degrees that are a little more research-based and STEM-based are MSs. Again, you may receive master's degrees similar to where you can get bachelor's degrees, such as Cal State's, UCs, and private schools, both in and out of, out of state. Uh, another thing that students often don't know is MBA, Master's in Business Administration, falls along the same lines as an MA and an MS. Okay. Moving right along to the top, we have our doctoral degrees. Doctoral degrees are very um, unique in that they take from three to five years and it depends on the doctoral degree. Some could actually take a little bit longer. Doctoral degrees are divided into PhDs and PhDs have to do with more academic subjects like history, political science, um, sociology, chemistry, right? And then you have EDD, which is educational doctorates. So a lot of your deans and school leaders have an EDD. Then you have your MDs. MDs are our medical doctors. JDs are our lawyers. And PharmDs, which are our pharmacists. So for doctoral degrees, they're almost divided into two separate categories. You have your PhDs, which are very much academic degrees, and then you have your professional degrees, which are all the other um, doctoral degrees. Uh, for doctoral degrees, you can receive them at UCs. Often they will be offered at Cal States at a, a limited level, uh, as in there's not as many Cal States that offer doctoral degrees, whereas a lot of the UCs offer way more doctoral degrees. Um, and then you have the private schools that also offer doctoral degrees. So you'll also notice that the chart kind of narrows as it goes to the top. What does this mean? Each time you take a step into a higher degree, you're learning more about a more specialized topic. So what happens when you get to the doctoral level? You know a lot, but about one specific subject. So oftentimes people are like, oh, doctoral people, they're very smart. In fact, they are, they're very intel intelligent. However, a PhD candidates, for example, maybe your history teacher has a PhD, they can't save you if you're having a heart attack, right? That's an MD's job because they're very different skill sets from a PhD to an MD. Similarly, your lawyer could probably save your life from jail, but, they can't really tell you how a school should be ran like an e, um, EDD can. So I think it's important for you to know that as you get higher into each different degree, you learn a little bit more about more specialized subject. All of them, so as you get to doctoral and master's, you will not be taking general education courses, whereas bachelor's and associates, including your high school, a lot of general education is included in these. Um, degrees like high school associates and bachelors, whereas career technical education, masters and doctorials, there is no general education. It is strictly about the subject you want to learn. If you have questions about this chart, feel free to um, message me um, because I know that this is the basis of where we're going to go next in this class in terms of identifying which degree is the correct fit for the career that you want.